Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video features a helpful little tip on how to remove cradle cap from your baby's scalp. Um, this is a very gentle method because you don't want to uh, hurt your baby's scalp in any way or just, you know, hurt them. So here is an image basically showing you my baby's scalp after I've gently lifted some of the cradle cap up. So if you guys want to see how this method works and see what I do, continue watching this video. So to start things off, you want to gently wash your baby's scalp and you can just do this using whatever baby wash that you use um, and you want to gently massage it in their scalp. This can be done when a baby's having a bath or if you just want to simply hold your baby kind of in the way that I'm doing it. My baby just had a bath but I still indulge myself kind of washing her this way though she's getting a little too big for it. But then we proceed with rinsing her hair gently after. I do like to use a washcloth to assist me to remove any you know excess uh, just, I don't know, a buildup of the cradle cap that may be existing on her head. Next, I gently wipe her hair, just removing the excess water, but this will help her scalp to just um, remain kind of wet in a sense for the next step. Next, we gently apply some coconut oil onto the baby's scalp and we kind of massage it a little bit um, around just so it can help to soften the cradle cap, especially since her hair is already slightly moist. And then I proceed to brush her scalp gently using a baby brush. Now I do like to tilt the brush onto an angle and kind of use the bristles to kind of lift up the cradle cap gently. You don't have to worry too much about baby brushes um, damaging their scalp or hurting them in any way because the brushes are designed to be very gentle, at least the one I have. It's really soft and you can see she's actually enjoying it. It's like a little mini massage to her. I will show you up close how much cradle cap I did remove and don't expect it to all come out at once. You want to do this over a period of time, you know, perhaps like every each bath time, just until you remove all the cradle cap, but it's not a big rush for me. I just use this method and I'm just doing it until, you know, it's all cleared up on its own. So guys, basically you just saw me brushing it and what I do is apply the coconut oil after washing it and it softens up the cradle cap and then I use the brush and I proceed to brush basically against the grain. I don't know if maybe it's not specifically against the grain, but just kind of brush with the with the brush, the bristles tilted and just basically wake up the cradle cap. Um, you don't want to approach this all at once and do it all in a day, but just a little bit at a time will help. I'm just showing it to you before I brush it out because once I t just remove all the um, flakes, then it'll just look like normal again. So that's what it is, and I hope you guys find this method to be helpful. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know if you've ever dealt with cradle cap or even let me know if this method worked for you. Um, thanks for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos and much love.